So you want your Windows Plex media server to start before any user has logged in. This is particularly useful if your Plex system is kind of sitting off on its own, not hooked up to a monitor, you can just power it on and without having to log in, the Plex service will start. I have two methods for doing this and at the end of the video I'll have a link for the other method. In this video I'm going to show you the task scheduler method. The other method involves converting the Plex process to run as a service. So this method is fairly straightforward. Um, all we have to really do is set a task in task scheduler to start the Plex media service before the system has started. So to do that you can type task scheduler And as you can see, I have one here already. It's disabled because I'm using another method to do this, but this will get you by. This, this was what I was using for about a year prior to converting Plex to a service. So to create a basic task, you can go create a basic task. Actually, it may be better since we need to do this with elevated privileges. Um, instead of doing create a basic task, do create task. Um, the reason being is now we can select run whether user is logged in or not and run with highest privileges. For triggers, set at startup and then click OK. For actions, uh, in the browse path here, select the path to the Plex Media Server. So. Um, Default install drive is the C drive, and then program files x86, Plex, Plex Media Server, and then select the Plex Media Server.exe. Click OK. And that is pretty much it. You'll be, oops, got to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one test because I already have one created. And then you'll have to enter your password. And this is so that the service can start before a user has actually logged in. Uh, so before you reboot your system, there is one other thing you'll need to do. Otherwise, you will end up with two Plex Media Server processes running. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I'll try this. Okay. So as you can see, I now have the Plex Media Server icon in the lower right corner of the screen. And if I open Task Manager, I have two Plex Media Server processes running. So if this task starts your Plex service, then you will end up with one. And then when someone actually logs into the Plex server, um, depending on if you have Start Plex Media Server at login checked, another process will be started. And it's just not necessary to have two. So what you'll want to make sure is that from this little icon here, you uncheck Start Plex Media Server at login, and then you can click Exit to kill the process. And as you can see, it's already terminated. So I'm not going to reboot my computer just because I am using another method to start uh, my Plex Media Server. And if you're interested in seeing that method, I'll have a link to that in this video. Um, otherwise, this should work for you. If you have any questions, you can leave down below and as always thanks for watching